about you two are both directors and actors, so tell me a little bit about how that informed your working relationship on the sacrament. Um, I don't know. I think that I... We're also friends, so I, I thought in, in writing this movie, I wrote it for specific people who I knew, and then I was able, thanks to Eli Roth, I was able to just cast whoever I wanted. So I was able to write it specifically for people and then cast those people. So I was able to write to what I thought was their strengths, and then I knew that they could sort of um, improv based on that, or they could just collaborate with me on that and only just make it infinitely better because it's already in their wheelhouse, and it's just teed up for them to do what they do. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know if... I think that since a lot of the people in this movie, yourself included, are directors, it makes, like, I, my feeling is that everybody came to this movie to be in my movie and to help me make my movie, as opposed to someone I didn't know coming to, like, keep their reputation looking good or make sure that they're accomplishing something for their, it was like, all of our collective interest was to make a good movie, and that was kind of, that was the goal. And that's, as a filmmaker, that's what you want, is you want, like, okay, we're all trying to do this one thing, as opposed to when you work with people you don't know, sometimes everyone has their own agenda. And it's not necessarily, like, a nefarious agenda, but it's, you know, it's, some people, they get uncomfortable, and they don't know. We all know each other so well, it was very easy to, to collaborate on this movie. Yeah, I mean, we've, been, we've all been, in some form or another, making movies together for, I don't know, six years now? Six, least, seven yeah. years? And, so, I mean, so in that way, uh, in terms of ego of being on, since we're all directors, it's like, okay, now you're you're uh, acting, and so it's my movie. But, 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 but it never comes to that point. No one's ever throwing their weight around because we're all so comfortable in sort of switching roles and, and giving input but not overstepping boundaries and it being this sort of free form. But the, the model of director and actor is never sort of blurred in a way. Yeah. Well, to me, this almost felt like it could have been made in the 70s by the Cassavetes. You know, you've got that sort of actor's troupe and filmmaker's troupe all working together. Can you talk a little bit about the vibe that you were going for initially and what it became? Because oftentimes films are one thing in the script and then they kind of morph into their own animal. Yeah, I think that this is one that I think the idea from the beginning is pretty close to the way it turned out. Um, I think we were just really going for a sort of an authentic vibe. Um, I think the difference is that maybe I thought we were going to do a lot of improvisation and we'll just kind of like wing it sometimes and figure it out and we ended up not doing that. Um, but you know, to me it was important to use a real, a real life event as a framework and a real media brand and I felt like everything in between had to match that sense of realism so that this movie hopefully transcends just being a movie experience and that the, there's what happens in the movie and then there's what the movie's about and what the movie's about is much more important. And I felt if we could make this movie feel authentic and make it feel real and make it feel confronting and, and provocative, then we'd have a very interesting movie. And I knew with this cast that they would be able to do that. Uh, Amy, I'm wondering, now. I know that Ty has already expressed his um, fascination and knowledge of the Jonestown Massacre. I'm wondering what you learned about cults and the cult mentality in the course of making the sacrament. Uh, well, I had already been extremely obsessed with with uh, cults just in general and sort of cult behavior, not just in religion, but in politics and, and even in art forms and, and sort of the history of any sort of movement. Um, uh, so I had already I, I already came to the table sort of being obsessed with with understanding that mentality. I think um, I think uh, I in sort of making the movie though and thinking about it on a personal level and thinking about more about um, you know in in his I guess in, in in reality of what what has happened before is like they've taken their own lives and they've sort of you know invested themselves in this and they're they're willing to give up themselves for this and I think what was so upsetting in Ty's movie is that she was not only willing to like sacrifice herself but uh, sacrifice her brother for the betterment of the the entire cult and that sort of like kind of made me really upset <laughs> or just, just just knowing that 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 somebody can get to that place or thinking about somebody getting to that place where they're willing to sacrifice somebody else's you know free will to for some for something they believe in and that's even before any of the bad yeah. stuff happens in the movie. yeah that's the well, whole like, concept <laughs> of the movie is yeah, like it's just the opening <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> thanks guys thank you appreciate your time yeah.